opportunity for the long day of fight and you went out there and played a perfect match must be pretty happy with yourself. Yeah, it's it's always tough, um, you know, waiting for a men's match and playing really late at night. But it's the same for both of us, and I just tried to uh, relax. I actually uh, went to the movie theater today uh, to, to burn some time. It's the first time I've ever done that, but um, it works, so I might do that next time. What did you What did you watch? I watched Passengers. Um, yeah, I don't recommend it. <laughs> Thumbs down. Yeah, it's a little too sci-fi for me. Did the match go as well as you could have hoped, Jimmy? First set, yes. <laughs> I don't think I could have asked for a better first set. Um, after that, yeah, there, I think there were a couple of games I, I lost my focus a little bit. You know, of course, she, she played some good points. Um, and, you know, there's sometimes there's not much you can do. But I, I really wanted to, to focus on, on each point, each game. And, and if there was no reason to be out there longer, then to, to do it that way, you know. Dini, obviously you are going to play Hong Chai in the next round. Um, you played her before, almost three years ago in Indian Wells, and you beat her pretty easily. That was how she thought about that match. So just wondering, how do you think about this match? Okay, I, I, I don't really remember, but I remember practicing with her, actually, I think at Wimbledon last year. Um, yeah, I think she, she can play some really good tennis. You know, she's proved it throughout her career. She can play good tennis. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to play. Uh, she has two-handed on both sides, which is obviously pretty unique on the tour. You don't see that too much. Um, so I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to play my game. Sometimes it's good to kind of jam them, you know, like body serve, try to play at them. I mean, I always want to make my opponents move, but two-handed players, sometimes that's something you can do. Um, and, yeah, just, just go for it. I don't know how far you look into the draw, but are you surprised to be playing her? I guess uh, a lot of people would have been expecting you to be coming up against Dara. Um, I mean, anything can happen in, in these draws. Every player that's in a Grand Slam is here for a reason. You know, they've earned their spot. Uh, you see lots of seeds falling all the time. So, um, I mean, I didn't even know I was playing her until 20 seconds ago. But, um, you know, I, I really don't look at the draw at all. For me, it's it's one match at a time. I mean, what's the point of looking ahead when, when you have a job to do before that? Do you know Thomas has worked with Hong Shai before? Nope, did not know that either. <laughs> <laughs> Anything okay. else you want to tell me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, I'm just wondering, do you think you're going to have an advantage with a coach who have helped you in the past? Or do you think you're going to have a player before and probably know something about that? I better. I mean, that's the whole point, right? <laughs> he, uh... Well, for sure, yeah, give me some, some good tactics against her. Um, <laughs> you know, even if, if a coach hasn't worked with a player, I mean, there's so many ways you can scout a player now. Um, obviously, you know, on YouTube or watching their matches or, or anything, what, looking at stats. Um, there's so much technology nowadays. So, um, you know, there's no reason not to have a good strategy against someone, no matter what. I feel better with my tennis, you know, these this week and last week, um, better than probably most of last year. Uh, but I don't want to compare myself because, um, you know, last year is, is nowhere where I wanted to be. So uh, I have a long road to go still, I know, but I've felt real tangible improvements. Um, so that's uh, a great sign for me. And I just got to keep doing that every single day and um, play more matches. With the wins you've had, I guess, so early in the year, has it changed your expectations for the year ahead? I've, I've thought about that. I've got asked that um, after Sydney, and uh, I still want to say no. Um, I don't want to have expectations for the first couple months of the year because I do consider it rebuilding, um, working a lot on things, um, you know, coming from a lower place. So I, I can't, even if maybe I have some good weeks, you know, I might have some bad weeks. So I don't want to um, already start putting that pressure on myself right away at the beginning. So uh, definitely still uh, no expectations for now. Are you feeling any? external pressure or expectations, obviously unseated, but still on a main court like Margaret Cordarena? Well, they put me at the same time as Roger, so I don't know if that was a... <laughs> I think they, they put they wanted to put a shitty match at the same time as Roger. <laughs> so I don't take that as, uh, you know, a prime time spot, because even the people probably watching us would have rather been watching Roger. So uh, for me, um, I mean, it was an honor to play on that court, of course. A surprise. Um, but I know where everyone's heart was. <laughs>